What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. Welcome back to another episode. Today, I'm going to take you guys on a deep dive into the Marantz AVR application. You guys know that I have been checking out and giving you a very close look of all the brand new Cinema Series AVRs, as well as the separates, the AV10 and the AMP10. But I wanted to make a whole video just talking about nothing but the application because it's a really valuable tool and I feel like something that I have personally enjoyed playing with whenever I'm watching movies or in the beginning of a movie to really dial in the system dependent on the content that I'm watching or the music that I'm listening to. So I figured this would be beneficial for all my customers out there that did purchase from us. With that said, if anybody would like to buy, make sure to show your support by shopping with us at shopdreammedia.com or reach out today for a free consultation and we would love the opportunity to earn your business. All right guys, let's get into this app Application. Let's go! All right, welcome back Dream Media family. So this may be one of the best kept secrets. I don't know what it is, but people never check out the native applications and I love taking a deep dive into the native applications, kind of like on the Kaleidoscape system. I showed you guys their native application and it's just incredibly user-friendly and it has a lot of features that you wouldn't typically get if you were just using a universal remote. So I love native apps and the Marantz app is one that I feel is a tool that a lot of you guys don't use and could potentially fall in love with. I'm one of those guys where the movie starts up and for the first 15, 20 minutes, my wife's looking over at me like, hey, can you get off <laughs> the iPad and just enjoy the movie? And I'm like, oh, I gotta get the audio perfect. <laughs> so with the application, you can do that. You can check your audio and video settings and make quick little changes on the fly that won't affect your Odyssey setup, your calibration that maybe your preferred installer did or you ran yourself. So it's risk-free. You know, you're not gonna hurt anything, but a lot of the time my customers will complain about, say, dialogue. They can't hear the dialogue well. Well, you can go in and turn the dialogue enhancer on, or you can go in and uh, turn your center speaker, specifically just that one speaker up with the level adjustments, things like that. You can change your audio format between the different music and movie modes or the different Dolby formatting. Ensure that if you are watching a Dolby Atmos movie that it is outputting in Dolby Atmos, and it actually gives a real live representation of the speaker layout that's actively being used in the room giving you the peace of mind to know that you're really using the full system to its maximum potential. But then you can go in and say like, as an example, some movies will be outputting your surround effects and your Dolby Atmos effects like really strong. You don't have to touch anything. But then sometimes I'll be watching a movie and I'm like, man, I'm really not hearing a ton of Atmos effects. So I'll go in and just crank them just to give me a little bit more immersion from the top or say I'm getting too much out of the surround speakers to where I'm like, wow, the background music is really intense in this scene and it's kind of a pattern throughout this movie so I'm noticing that now when I'm starting the movie so I'm gonna turn those down just a little bit it's just a way to fine-tune your system again a lot of you guys may not care that you want to sit down and watch the movie like my wife well there are gonna be some guys like myself that really love this stuff. We love playing with it and we wanna make sure that it sounds as good as possible. You can even adjust the gain on your subs if you're a bass lover. And then you can switch back and forth between say, two channel listening or spatial audio and Dolby Atmos or RO3D right here in the application. Well, enough talking guys. I wanna show you the application and kinda of click through some of the buttons and show you some of my favorite quick select features. All right guys, so this is the interface as you can see on the main zone it does display the input as well as the output and right now I'm not playing anything it's just on the Kaleidoscape main menu as you can see my output settings here do have the front left right center surround left right and then my front mid and rear Atmos and it is outputting in Dolby Audio, Dolby Surround, and that will switch and say Dolby Atmos whenever I select a Dolby Atmos track. I'll show you that here in a minute. And then it's outputting the video dual. You can select monitor one or two if you wanna narrow it down. 
resolution is 4K60, and then you can check your Odyssey settings for dynamic EQ and dynamic volume. So down here, you can just do a quick little mute or unmute. You can control the volume level. You can go into your movie, music, game, or pure direct modes. So like under movie, I have it saved as Dolby Surround, so it'll automatically detect Dolby Audio because most of the time I'm watching movies in Dolby Atmos. And then for music, you have a couple different options available. I like to select either stereo or multi-channel stereo for music modes, because it'll save that. So like, see if you switch to movie, it'll automatically switch to Dolby Surround. And if you go back to music, it'll automatically save that preset and change it to multi-channel stereo. And you can do the same thing for like pure direct, pure direct direct so say you're a two channel listener and you have some really nice front left and right speakers you can put that into pure direct mode and just toggle between all of them and then say you are a gamer you can save a game preset but the most popular ones are going to be movie music or pure i leave it in movie most of the time just because I'm either listening to spatial audio through Dolby Atmos or I'm listening to a movie, right? You have smart select down here, which is just gonna quickly change you over to whatever input you'd like. I only have an Apple TV and a Kaleidoscape hooked up, so it's pretty simple. But say if you had a ton of devices hooked up, you would then you know wanna have some smart selects for your favorite devices right there, one through four. Now, you have your cursor as well where you can navigate the menu setup. So if you go to setup right here, this is pretty cool. So as you can see now on the screen, I can navigate my menu setup. And the reason I wanted to show this is because you guys can set up your AVR, say in a rack, and then once you plug it in to your hardwired ethernet connection or connect it over the Wi-Fi, you have the ability to control your setup. So like say your TV's in the living room, you could go into the application or say even just that your AVR is in a closet at the back of the room behind a closed door. You could go in and once it's on the network, go into setup and configure the whole thing really quickly with the AVR app. So this is the exact same interface that you would see under the lid of the Marantz Cinema 40, which is what I have hooked up right there. This would be really beneficial for you guys who are using the Marantz Cinema 60 or the Cinema 50 because it doesn't have these options for you to navigate the menu or an on-screen display on the front of it. Whereas the Cinema 40 does have that little display where you can navigate the menu setup. But this is better because you get the full menu and a little bit more real estate, making it easier to navigate. All right, then you got eco mode on and off. It's really up to you whether you wanna run eco mode. It does save energy and there's some good functionality built into that to where you can turn off like extra zones that you're not using. Not as important if you are just using it as a home theater receiver, but you can go in right here to all of the eco settings and see like auto standby for the different zones. That's a pretty cool feature. Power on default last. You can also go in right here to your Bluetooth zone two, zone three setup. This lines right up with the menu settings. If you were to go into cursor and then go to setup. And then there's more right here. You can go to the owner's manual. It'll also show you some tips on how to operate this interface. Now, options. This is the one that I love tweaking whenever I am sitting there watching a movie. Try the dialogue enhancer, guys. Go in and adjust that, especially if you're having problems with hearing the dialogue. I know a lot of my customers struggle with that. That's one of the coolest features. And then I would say the next really cool function is going to be the channel level adjust. Check this out, guys. They're actually giving us an on-screen display that shows exactly where the speakers are in the room and they show all zero dB. But with that said, there is built in, saved in the amplifier Odyssey setup or your calibration settings setup that are saved. So what's cool is like, say you're having a hard time hearing your overhead effects, say like that front one. You can go in and just tweak it, 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 and adjust it to whatever you would like. And you can say it, see it saves that. 
you can go up here and say you're you're like, oh, I'm really struggling to hear that that front left one. I feel like I'm not getting my money's worth, right? <laughs> so you can go in and be like, oh, I'm gonna crank that up to plus five dB. And then, you know, maybe you put on the next movie like the next weekend and you're like, wow, those things are cranking. Set defaults, boom. Now you're back to your default calibration that's built into the unit. Another thing is like bass. I know a lot of you guys are like, I want more bass. And I totally get it. You can go in right here and like for that movie, just crank them to whatever DB level you would like. But then say maybe your baby has an example. I got a two year old, he's sleeping in the next room and you don't want to wake him up. For nighttime viewing, you can go down right here and just turn that subwoofer down to negative 12 DB very quickly. And then again, you know, always go back and just default it. It's just really fun to play with this stuff on the fly while you're listening to a movie because it allows you to fine tune it to your ears and what you like to hear because everybody's ears are different and uh, what you expect and want out of your system is gonna be completely different from the next guy. So check this out. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy using that. So then over here, we do have our controls. You can go into the detailed settings for audio, video, input, speakers, network, general, and web control, app settings. You can change your AVR so you can actually control multiple different AVRs here, which is really sweet. Say you had a house full of them, like we've installed for many homeowners, one in the living room to control the downstairs, and then you got the one for the theater room, and then maybe we got another one for the cabana pool area. So pretty cool function right here. And the last thing is just your source control. As you can see, I just have my Apple TV and Blu-ray, but all of these options are available as well. All right, guys, that is a wrap on my detailed walkthrough of the Marantz AVR app and the Denon Heos app. You guys know that I am a big Sound United or Muzumo now is the name of the company. Lover, I have always been a big Denon and Marantz fan. I think they manufacture some of the best components for the average consumer. I mean, they have stuff starting as little as five, 600 bucks. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this walkthrough of the operating system, the application. This is something that I was kind of hesitant to do because I didn't know if anybody would really find value in this video. So if you enjoyed this type of video, drop some comments down below and let me know how I'm doing here. And again, if you or anybody you know would like to purchase, shop with us at shopdreammedia.com or give us a call and we can set up a free video consultation. Keep in mind, we don't only sell AVRs, we have everything that you need home theater related from projectors to screens to speakers and AVRs as well as all the interconnects and cables we have you covered. All right guys, till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.